Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you how to unbrick and unroot your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is head on over to the link in the description. And it will take you to the SAM firmware site. I will, I will provide a direct link for the AT&T one. But this will also work for the other Galaxy Note 2s and a few other Samsung devices. Now, you see I am on the USA AT&T. Now you're just going to click the download link here for the i317. If this isn't your model, just change that and download the correct file. And then you're going to want to download Odin. What I did was I just searched Google for Odin version 3. And I found this thread right here with an attached zip. And that's how I got my Odin. Now, once you have those two files, you're just going to want to go over to your downloads folder. And you see we have the i317 factory image right here. You're just going to want to right click. I have 7 zip, but it doesn't matter which one you have and you're just going to want to extract that and you're also going to want to find your Odin and you're also going to want to extract that as well so once you have extracted those if you go into the factory image you see that there is a .tar.md5 file and if you go into Odin we need to open up the .exe click yes and once these this is open you're just going to click on the PDA and you're going to go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded this factory image and you are going to want to click that .tar.md5 file and then you're going to click open make sure F reset time and auto reboot is checked and now we're going to go to our phone what you're going to want to do on your phone is power it off if you're boot looped or bricked you're going to want to just pull out the battery and put it back in and press and hold volume down the home button and the power key and it should get you into a download mode now once you're here you're going to click volume up and it is going to say downloading so now what you're going to want to do is just plug in your USB cable I'll get it in there one way or the other and then you will hear your Windows computer recognize it see it says down there installing device driver software so you're gonna wait for this it shouldn't take too long alright and there we go it, it recognized our device we are now COM5 it says you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have the drivers installed which if you rooted your device you're gonna have those if you don't have the drivers just use Google it'll be like the first or the second result with XDA now once your device is in download mode and this is right there you're just gonna to wanna to click start and it will go down here where it's initializing and it's going to start the process to restore your brick device or just restore you back to factory so you can return your phone or or if you just want to be on stock now if if you are returning this in for warranty you are going to want to download triangle away so you can reset your like flash counter so that the samsung doesn't know that you messed with your device and i, I will be back when this is done Alright, and so we are just about finished. See a little blue progress bar on your phone, letting you know that it is finishing up. Now, this is my second time running Odin, because the first time it failed. So if it fails, just pull the battery out of your phone, and plug your phone back in, and just restart Odin by putting the file in the PDA and everything. It doesn't take too long. You see it, it's resetting our device. And now it should be booting up into the stock. Alright, and so my phone, it's been a few minutes, so I'm assuming it's not going to boot up. So what you're going to want to do is pull the back off of your phone, pull out the battery put it back in. Now press and hold volume up, the home button and the power key till you see Samsung then let go of the power key keep holding volume up and this will boot you into stock recovery All right, and in the stock recovery you're just going to want to go down to wipe data factory reset and you're going to want to wait for this to finish flashing it should only take a second or so So you see it's done. Now we're going to go to reboot system now. See it says rebooting.
So now we should be good to go, and our phone should boot up as normal. We have the normal Samsung logo. <laughs> Haven't seen this boot animation in a while, actually. And also you see Odin says pass, where the success won and then failed zero. But since we did that, I will be back when this is done booting up. Alright, and now we are at the home screen. I'm going to hit cancel on this AT&T. And I'm going to skip the Samsung account. I'll sign into all this later. Skip that. I'm just trying to get to the home screen. Press me, go into settings. Now we're going to go down to the about phone. As you see, we are on Android 4.1.1. And we are on LJ2, as you see right there, the baseband version. And if we go to System Update, and we check for updates, we're going to click OK. And there actually should be an update available for Android 4.1.2. 4 Alright, and so the software update is almost done downloading. So we are going to continue. And now that we've returned to stock, we should have the stock recovery. So let this reboot. And it's going to reboot into the stock recovery and install Android 4.1.2. This enables the multi-window feature, which if you were on a custom ROM, then I'm pretty sure you've already had this for a few weeks, actually a month or so. Alright, and we are at 100%. Update is complete. It's rebooting our device. Now we should be on Android 4.1.2. Alright, and our device has booted up. So I'm going to unlock it. For that to focus. And it says update is complete. So I'm going to hit done. Select OK, go to menu, go to settings, and we are on Android 4.1.2, and now we should have our multi-window, so we can press and hold back to get the multi-window feature. You can also edit this, so additional apps that support it, you can also add those, and you can move it on the top, the sides, bottom. I like it on the bottom because then you can just drag stuff out and it makes it easier to use. But that is how you unroot and unbrick your Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and take the over the air update to Android 4.1.2. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel.